Welcome back, everyone. We have Bart and Jennifer Mills, our local movie reviewers. And today we're going to be discussing a movie called Long Legs. So welcome, Bart and Jen. I have to say right off the bat, as soon as I read the title, I thought it was a biopic about Bart. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, 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 it's stubby legs and long torso. <laughs> and uh, it's not as catchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a thriller horror pick. Yeah, so... This movie follows um, Maya Kimura, uh, Monroe, who was in It Follows, if anyone saw that movie. And she is a young FBI agent who's been pulled into this um, ongoing 40-year-long um, murder case where they have not been able to figure out who is doing all of these mass killings. And the killer leaves behind a birthday card that says the sign Long Legs with a series of uh, codes and ciphers that the FBI has not been able to decipher. Okay. And she gets brought in uh, mainly because they feel that she has, she's not psychic per se, but she sort of has a uncanny... Um, intuition. Yeah, intuition into these crimes and, and who might be doing it. So they bring her in to, to decipher these codes and see if they can't catch this killer after 40 years. Yeah, the trailer itself looked like it was going to be intense. You know, so what, Bard, what do you think? Jumping out of your seat, kind of? Well, this has been one of those movies with a real buildup over the last few months. I mean, you know, these things go viral pretty quick. They, they've done a really good job. This is one of the few movies of the summer where you could watch the trailer and they didn't give you everything. And so, you know, half the time we sit in the theater uh, and try to cover our eyes during trailers because we don't want to know what's happening. Right. We, we want to come in blind. We do feel like we came in blind on this one. And so, you know, we did know, you know, the, the, the acting cast, uh, this is Osgood Perkins. Osgood Perkins has done four movies before. Most famously, he is the son of Anthony Perkins of Psycho fame. Uh, he's done four movies and, and, and a couple of them, and including Black, uh, Black Coat's Daughter, are very good. Really good movie. He works in a very creepy vibe. Uh, this is a really movie inspired by Silence of the Lambs in the best possible way. Uh, Blair Underwood is in this. Blair Underwood, by the way, is unaging, but uh, very good. Alicia Witt. Um, who was you will last, not recognize. Yeah, I, I swear for most of us, last time we saw her, she was a, a basically a teen teen horror movie icon, and now she's playing the mother in this. But um, really good cast, good acting. Of course, Nicolas Cage is in here, and we're not going to tell you how. Um, and Nicolas Cage is Nicolas Cage. <laughs> uh, so it's, but it is a really kind of a very moody unsettling, very disturbing. Creepy. It's shot in this very 1970s Verit style. Uh, very, very cool movie. Yeah. It seems like the theme lately is just to kind of go back in time, right? It seems, it seems like this, uh, you know, we had this movie not too long ago. It was all about the 80s. Now we're going back in time again. And Well, they didn't, they didn't actually tell us what year it was. We just know that Bill Clinton was president because his picture was on the FBI's wall. So that's the time frame we've got. We don't actually know what year it was, but yeah. But a lot of our directors right now, these are young directors, and they're all inspired by, you know, we got to think about an entire, we, we, we grew up with Spielberg and all these guys that were inspired by movies of the 50s and 60s. These directors are all inspired by filmmakers in the 80s and 90s, and a lot of the filmmakers that inspired them were actually cribbing the directors of the 70s. So you know we're seeing this constant flow of of style that we're that all these young guys, especially in genres like horror, where there's a lot more flexibility because the budgets are low. The budget on this movie was ten million dollars, which is incredible compared to you know I mean you got to think about it. Next week we're going to go see tornadoes or twisters, sorry, and I think that was probably a two hundred million dollar movie. So uh, you know it's it's pretty amazing. But it doesn't look like a ten million dollar. No, it's movie. beautiful. It looks fantastic. All right, so Rotten Tomatoes, favorite website, gave it an 86% approval rating, which is pretty good. Yeah, this is, yeah. I think it's, it, that, that lays in line. I think there are people that, because the buildup was so great, there are going to be people who are, I think are, you know, the real horror fans, I guess, are, are going to be disappointed. But I think for most people, this was, this, this hit a spot for us. I have actually, I don't agree with that percentage at all because every single review that I've read or watched has absolutely been in love with this movie. 
they cannot say a bad thing about it. So I'm really surprised it's not up in the 90s. All right, so I'm gonna give you real quick, do you give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or somewhere in the between, the thumbs middle? Oh, I give it two thumbs up. Yeah, I, she she has two, I have two, so we have four thumbs betwixt <laughs> us. Um, the only thing, the only caveat I will give is that most of the time, I'm a movie theater experience guy. I really, we love to see movies in the theater, bigger theaters, big sound, all that. But in this case, I really do think there's a case to be made for home video on this because I think watching it, you know, by yourself or two or three people in a room in a dark room in your home, it the creep factor is going to go through the roof on it. So I can't wait for it to come out on video and see it. Watch again. it again. All right. So now we're all going to have to go out and watch the movie Long Legs. Well, Martin Jen, thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks Thank you, for your Chris. time. All right. Well, don't go away because we have more than we return.